Hi, I'm Steph and I rescue unwanted horses. These horses may be neglected, abused, abandoned, headed towards slaughter, have an owner pass away, or a variety of other circumstances leading to their rescue. Rescue can be a rough business. It's not easy to see how these animals are treated and not always easy to help them move past their trauma. I work hard to ensure that all the horses who enter my care are given a fresh start and the opportunity toward a better life with quality, ethical care and treatment. My aim is to make a home that is somewhere in between temporary and permanent. Rehabilitation is often a long, arduous process. There are many temporary homes with the goal to rescue and rehome as quickly as possible so that the maximum number of horses can be saved. There is a need for this kind of bulk rehoming due to the large number of horses in need of rescue. However, with such a short turnover time, the horses cannot be rehabilitated at the rescue, so rehabilitation ends up being the new owner's responsibility. Horses in these situations are often cheap up front, but have many expenses in the beginning of ownership. Rehabilitation requires resources. These horses need experienced homes, homes that can be a trainer, nutritionist, veterinarian, body worker, farrier, and caretaker, all in one, or at the very least, homes that can pay for all of those services. My background includes lifelong equine experience. I have education in behavioral neuroscience, equine psychology, ethical stable management, equine nutrition, both balance, bit saddle and tack fit, veterinary technology, equine massage and bodywork, and more. I also have meaningful connections with specialized equine vets and highly qualified farriers. And of course, I have a beautiful top of the line facility, all of which give me the resources I need to safely, humanely, and effectively rehabilitate the horses in need. This is why I aim to never be temporary. I don't adopt out horses until they've completed their rehabilitation and are ready to move into their permanent home. Finding good homes can be the most challenging part of the rescue business. There are many sanctuaries available that are permanent homes for rescued horses. These sanctuaries often give rescue horses great lives. However, they have a maximum occupancy and can only save as many horses as they can fit, or they may end up hoarding the animals and the horses end up needing to be rescued again. Although most horses can live happy lives out on a range, not all rescues, including myself, have hundreds of acres available for a proper range. Instead, I have enriched pastures that allow my horses to live full lives when supplemented with human care. That said, when it comes to human care, I don't believe a horse can truly be happy like this if they don't have their person. Every horse in my care has thrived best once they have a single human to call their own, and I can't be their person for dozens of horses at once. This is why I aim to never be permanent. I want to adopt out every horse I rescue into a loving forever home with their person so that they can live their best life and I can continue to rescue more. Know better, do better. The vast majority of horses end up in rescue situations through no fault of their own. Instead, it's usually due to human problems, training, care, finances, etc. My unique approach to horsemanship was molded by my experience studying behavioral neuroscience and animal learning in university. This approach is the most ethical, most effective, and safest way that I have found to train horses. These methods have worked for every horse in my program, and I can honestly say that many wouldn't have needed rescuing if they had been handled properly throughout their lives. Over many years as a trainer and coach, I have developed a riding school that helps show others how to use my training methods. I aim to continue teaching others my methods so that horsemanship can be improved worldwide. I am a lifelong student of the horse. I have studied from the saddle, from the ground, at the end of a rope, at liberty, in a field, in a classroom, online, and in a lab. Also, I can more effectively care for the horses in my program and communicate with the horses I'm training. I aim to continue learning and improving so that I can always be the best horsewoman I can be. To find out more about my program, you can visit my website, skequine.com, or connect with me on social media. I look forward to showing you what I do and how I do it. Thanks for listening. This has been Steph from Steph K Equestrian.